Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a group member counter. So if you haven't followed part one already, please make sure to do that. First of all, go to the link in the description. It should take you a page similar to this. What you should see is a page or a post that looks like this. Then you should see the blue text. Then click on it. It may take a second to download. And then what you need to do is you need to go to your downloads folder and you should see it there. Then go to Roblox Studio and make a new base plate or open the game that you already have. It's going to take a second to load in. Okay, and now that's loaded in, get your file and drag it into Roblox. Okay, so first of all, we have to go to our part. Open it up and you should see a script inside. Then put it inside Serve Script Service. After that, we're going to go back to our browser. And then we're going to go to Heroku.com. So we're going to make a new tab and go to Heroku.com. And then we're going to have to log in. Okay, it auto failed it for me. And then what we're going to have to do is we're going to click on our app. We're going to go to settings. We're going to scroll down and we're going to get our link. So once we click that, I'm going to actually copy it. So I have it ready. And I'm just going to paste in to a tab. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new tab and go to github.com. This is where we last made our API key and you can see my repository is on the left. And now what I'll do is I'll click on it and it will come to here. Then I'll look for the env file, click on it and then copy our API key. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do slash group. Then we're going to type in slash members. And then we're going to put a question mark and say group ID. So to get your group ID, you can go to your group and in the middle of the URL, there should be a number. I'm going to type in my number off by heart. I'm going to put and key equals and I'm going to paste in my key. Now, if I enter it, I have a bit of slow internet here, so I'm just going to speed that up. You see, it shows us how many members we have. And that is 17, so that is right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the actual script part. So copy the URL, and remember the script we made in server script service, open it. Now you should see something like this, where it says URL equals inside the quote marks, paste that link. Now we are going to actually set up. Now what we're actually going to do is the final bit. So if your game isn't published, publish it. I'm just going to give it a random name. So you just have to click on the create new game in the bottom left. And then I'll just name it something, so um, group member counter, for example. And then I'm going to publish it. If your game's already published, then don't worry about this step. But a really important step is to go to game settings, go to security, and make sure allow HTTP request is on. If it's not, click on it, and then click that save button. But since mine is already on, I won't have to do that. And then now what we're going to do is we can customize this by clicking on that drop down and then inside that title we're going to click on the title object and then we're going to search for text and then what we're going to do is we can now customize the name so for example i'm just going to put this to my group but you can name it to whatever your wa your group was so for example if it was nova hotels you could set it to nova hotels and then what we can do is we can click that play button and if everything goes to plan, the board should show me how many members are in my group. So just click play to start testing. And then once it's loaded in, you can have a look at the board. 
and it shows me how many members are in my group and that is correct there are 17 members in my group so that shows everything works and if you look in the log you can see it says 17 and then worked if something goes wrong it'll show you there and to get to the log you can press f9 on your keyboard or say slash console in chat if anything goes wrong at any time feel free to make a scripting support post on our forms and with that thanks for watching if you have any suggestions please send the forms and goodbye